Hey everybody, this is Dave, and I'm going to show you how to build a rocket like this. Uh, this is the Viking from Estes, and this is for a Boy Scouts uh, rocket day. And they give you the kit, it pretty much comes like this. <clears throat> and it's got all the parts that you need in order to make it. So basically, uh, there are different wing configurations. I chose the four, and they're slanted up like this. So I'm going to make it now uh, a different way. I'm going to have these flipped around. You have this little pipe here because they have the wire that goes in here. And you have the rubber band and a streamer instead of a parachute. So basically you roll up the streamer, you stuff everything in here, put the engine in here, slide it in, and you light it off, and here it goes. So let's build it now. What you're going to need for this project is a pair of scissors, a pair of scissors, a pencil, you're going to need a ruler, you need some sandpaper, uh, you need some glue, I have the Gorilla Glue, and you're going to need a sharp knife, like a razor. And you're going to need some tape, some clear tape. And then, of course, you spray paint it and all that other stuff. You can also have a tube of crazy glue. So let's get started. First things first, we're going to unbag this. So make sure you don't lose any of the parts because they're all necessary and crucial. Heat up your glue gun. Have it ready. So basically, you pull everything out. And in this bag, you're going to find a spacer. And there's a spacer right there. I have one from the previous rocket that I just built. And let's rip open the bag. All right. And inside the bag, you have the streamer. You have this spacer, pusher. You have this ring, and this ring is super important. It holds the rocket from shooting off the top of the rocket. You also have this little cap here, which you put the rubber band to, and then you put it on here with crazy glue, and it stays forever. Here are all the wings that you can use. This can use a five wing. I'll show it to you. Five wings, five wings four wings and three wing configuration and they give you a diagram here which is important to use because basically what you do is you line up the hole here and you mark off with a pencil a little dot so this is for like three wings so we're going to have one here one there and one here this is four one two three four and then they got the five configuration you could choose what rocket configuration you want what you want it to look like. You can glue these uh, different ways. So let's now first mark up our rocket. So we got our pencil and my son wants a four wing. So basically we're just going to put a little mark on here, on here, and then here and one right there. Let's make sure they all line up. Good. And then what you do is you take it to a doorway and I'm going to show that to you in a second. Uh, you take it to a doorway edge and you have the stopper. Let me show you how to do that. Take it to a doorway. So you can pop it in here. You'll find it. Mark it. Bring it to the next thumb.
basically you marked it in every direction using a straight edge on the door. All right. So now that you got it all marked up, you're going to know where to put your glue. Make sure that they're straight and they're all marked up. Okay. So next thing you want to do is you want to cut out. You want to cut these out. And the reason why you want to cut them out with a sharp razor is because then they'll have these little bumps. And I'll show you these bumps in a second. So you want to cut it smooth. And then basically you're going to use the sandpaper. They're already pre-cut, but they have this little tiny little bump that holds it on. So it doesn't fall out. On. So basically you pop them out. And there's this little hairy bump over there. So you could use sandpaper and sand it down. But I just use this and just whittle it a little bit to get that you shave it. You can just do that. I've been doing these rockets for years now. My kid is a Weeblo, and I got one that is bare. So that's that. We'll do it with all of these. So just pretty much take them out. And like I said, I'll just whittle away the part that's going to touch the rocket because you don't want that little bump. Next step is let's apply some glue, hot glue. So we'll apply hot glue. Now this dries very fast. So you gotta get a nice even line. Quickly put our fin all the way down, push down a little bit of a pressure. Take the excess off. Apply pressure until it sticks. Now there's quite not quite enough glue, so it's a little wobbly. I didn't put it. So put a generous amount of glue on that edge and place that right on there with a little bit of pressure. You're going to let it dry. Keep it perpendicular. Basically there it is. It's a little wobbly right now. Just got to let it dry. Later on you can put a little bit more glue. So I'm going to do these four. <clears throat> Be generous with the glue. Got to use hot glue because try to use any glue other than hot glue it's just not going to work and if you wanted to get a better grip you could sand these ahead of time the sandpaper sandpaper the pipe so that it gets a rough surface that's straight excess glue here and there the last two. Generous amount of glue. Quickly jump to the 
wing, get it right in the middle, and apply a little pressure. Let that glue dry. Let's do the last one. If they don't stick the first time, you could always just pop them off. Make sure they're all straight. Because then your rocket will tilt side to side. That looks pretty good. You can reinforce this with glue later on. Peel off all the extra sand it off too. So we gotta let that dry. <clears throat> so let's work on the nose cone. Here's the nose cone. And they have it detached in shipping because they want you to uh, tie the rubber band to it first. Let's grab our rubber band. So here's our rubber band. And you could tie it right into there. You put it in through the little loop, bring it in a couple inches, and do a double tie. Tie it again. Pull on it and tighten it. Tight. You could even do a triple knot if you like. That's good. Cut the excess off. Okay. So now we have it tied. We're going to put some glue on it. Now, plastic works good with crazy glue, but if you, if you like, you could use the hot glue. So we'll spin it as we put the glue around it. It's going to squish out, have a lot of excess, but we'll clean it up. Quickly, let's jump to it. We'll put it in like this. Hold a little pressure. Smooth it out. We'll clean that up a little bit. And when it dries, you basically just peel away the glue. So we'll let that dry. Now, the next thing here <coughs> is you take the paper that comes with it. And it comes with this little one, two, three little piece of paper here. Cut that out. And I'll show you. This is going to take the rubber band and it's going to allow you to put your rubber band attached to your rocket cylinder. I know my son's supposed to be doing this, but I don't trust it. I gotta do it myself, or else it gets messy. So what they want you to do is fold number one. There's a dotted line here. Let me just show you this up close. So, so you fold number one, and you fold it to number three. And it's a piece of paper like that. So now we'll open it back up again. And we're going to throw some glue on it. Paper glue, Gorilla Glue, whatever you got. And let's take the end of this and have a work surface so that you don't get your desk all messed up. Whatever surface you're working on. So we'll place it on like this, we'll fold it onto it, and then we'll fold it a second time, like that, 
make sure your river band is right in the middle and squish some pressure in it. Now this is your tab that you're going to place inside the cylinder of the rocket. I'll show that to you. Okay. So I'll let that dry a little bit. Have some paper towels, maybe some wet naps or something. Get the glue off your hands because you don't want to make a mess. Because when you're painting this thing, you don't want it. You don't want it to uh, be on the rocket. So when you're painting, it gets all screwed up and the paint don't stick. So that's the tab there. Now before we put this nose cone on. You can use the hot glue to put this on. This is a streamer. Instead of parachutes, they used to use parachutes, now they use streamers. And what it does is it slows the rocket down as it's making its descent. So they say in the directions that two inches from the nose cone uh, is what, or five centimeters, you put the end of this on here like that and you measure two inches the rule is a little bent there so pretty much two inches from the nose cone around and we use our hot glue and we'll put some hot glue right on the rubber band this and we'll put a little bit on here and quickly we'll fold it over. Things get a little messy. Squish it down and let it dry. Alright, so we'll put a little bit more in here. that down about two inches from the nose cone and there we have it the streamer and you got your tab here and you're good we'll set that aside let it dry let's go back to our rocket our fins are about dry now so now this is the important part. We have this little straw here, which is going to go in the middle of the two wings, about two inches high from the bottom. But first, I want to do this little ring that I told you not to lose. Hope I didn't lose it. No, it's right here. Here's the ring. Now this ring is going to go inside about the length of this here that they give you. You have to mark off a small little piece here sticking out. I'll show you. You see the ring I got around it like that? You have to draw that ring around there. I'll give you the exact measurement. So the measurement of this from the bottom is half a centimeter. Okay or it's about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. Let's make sure, let's see what the paper says. So the paper says that you have to make the mark six millimeters uh, from the bottom. All right. Of course, this one is the one that's in a different language. Let's use the English one. And it says two inches is how far that got to go in, and it's a quarter of an inch, like I said, six millimeters. So a quarter of an inch. Put a mark a quarter of an inch up. And then it says... It says two inches. You have to draw some glue on there. So now you have this piece left over from the fins. So what you do, basically, you can do it with your scissors. 
so you don't cut yourself. <clears throat> Just cut this like that. Well, cut this like that and like that. What you're going to be making is a swab stick so you could swab the inside of your cylinder with glue. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, we made ourselves a little swab stick. And I recommend making it thin enough so that the glue can get on. Alright, so here is my swab stick. Right here. It doesn't matter what size it is. And what you're going to do is you're going to measure two inches. So we're going to measure, yep, two inches in. So let's mark it. Two inches. Okay, so we got a two inch stick with a little bit of leftover hold. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a little glue in a little puddle right here on this paper. And in this rocket, we have to throw some glue on the inside two inches high. That's why we got the mark there. So we'll dab it, put some glue, generous amount of glue. And you want to get it in there without touching the sides, sort of like the game operation. And then you place against and you spin it around and make sure you get the glue because that's going to hold that little O ring. And you look inside and you can see the glue gooped up in there in a circle. So now you take this and you place it right here inside the cylinder like that and you use your marked cylinder to throw this right in here. So you push it in slow, don't go further than the line, which I just did. Don't go further than the line. Have it sticking out where that line is. So then you find us at the end of the cylinder and you just press around it to make sure the glue adheres to that O-ring. And that's going to, like I said, hold the rocket so when you get propulsion, this rocket, this engine doesn't shoot all the way up. Now let me give you a look at the real engine. So if you put the real engine in, because you're going to shoot this off more than once, you push it in and it won't go past that little line. This is now perfect. It'll stay right there. And this way, when you recharge your engine, you just pull it out. Some people don't put it and it shoots out the top, or it goes in too far, and people have to get it out with tweezers and, and pliers. So we've got to make sure that dries. I recommend getting all the glue by spinning this like this. Get all that glue out of there. You don't want any glue to dry in a clump, because then you won't get your engine Okay, so the O-ring is in there. You won't be able to see it, but it's in there. We'll give it a little inspection. Yep, I see it in there. Straight. Yeah, it's in there good. So we'll let it dry. So now we have the O-ring, and we're going to put our tab now in there. So we take the tab, I usually work more organized than this. So we take our tab. Oh, tab, where are you? So now we have our tab, and we're going to put some glue on the end of it, like that. And basically, you kind of want to curve it a little bit, and you want to get it inside the rocket head. So you go in, and like I said, you have to be inside a little bit further. Because you got to accommodate for this part from here to here to be in there. So, And you also have to stuff this in. So you want to get it down far enough. So let's use our little stick. And we'll push it down. Besides the blue one. Push it down far enough in so we can put our streamer in there. And basically they just want you to clear the the space that it goes in. And I'll show you that in a second. So we're going to push it up against. 
and we're going to let it adhere to the wall of the inside about an inch down or an inch and a half or whatever. And you're going to let that dry before you start pulling on the rubber band. So I'm going to use something a little bit more firm with the edge of my pencil. And I'm going to push down, make sure it adheres to the side. And that's it. So now you got yourself a rocket. And there it is. You got your O-ring inside. You got all your fins on. You got your streamer. You got your nose cone. And that looks pretty good. The last part is hot glue to anywhere in between these. So let's find our straw. So we take the straw, and what they want you to do is they want you to put the straw two inches. So let's get our ruler. They want two inches right there marked. And two inches are the bottom. So here we go. We're going to put some glue. Take our little straw, we'll put it up against here, push it in place, and you want it straight because if it's crooked, it'll have trouble getting off. And there it is, the straw. So we got the straw, we'll reinforce it with a little bit more glue. I didn't put enough smooth it out with the tip of the hot gun. And that's it. It's ready to be painted, decaled, whatever. Maybe sand it a little bit more. Get so the glue I mean the paint adheres to it. <clears throat> Basically that's it. So when this is all painted and done, you'll be able to roll up this tape and fold it three ways and then you roll it. And then you just stuff everything into the nose cone. And then you place the cap on. I'm not going to do that now, but I can actually just test it. And we'll push that right in there, see? Now don't let anything stay in overnight. In case there's some glue, you don't want it to be glued. So keep it out like this. Put your little cylinder in now. Make sure that you can get it in there and get it out. Test it out with maybe a rocket. Yep. You can pull the rocket out. So there's no glue along the walls to hold it in place. So there it is. This is our little rocket. We're ready in a little bit for a rocket day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one. Maybe I'll show you how to go fishing for the fishing derby. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye-bye.